Hi Sagittarius, this is our energy reading for the next 30 days in our connections and relationships. Matters of the heart. Yeah, guys, it's a general reading. It's not going to uh, resonate for everyone. If this one doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Sometimes your moon, your Venus, or rising signs will resonate a little bit better. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up your energy in that one. <clears throat> Let's find out what's going on for my Sagittarius. Next 30 days. Find out what's going on with my Sagittarius in their heart connections. Relationships. Mm -mm. With Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, that felt good. For my Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Next 30 days. There's our first one. Oh, we're going to get three. Okay. Hold energy on the deck for me. We've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ooh, I like that. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And also, past life relationships. You have known each other before. Mm, that familiarity with each other. Oh, I like this. Because just what it says, guys. We're going into more of a committed relationship. Soulmate. It's something, we, you know, we've been wanting. Calling this person in, and it's yeah, past either we've got past lives together, or it's just simply saying we've got a history together, and we are now ascending to uh, a deeper level of commitment in our connection, uh, making it solid, uh, you know, confirming with each other that yes, this is lifetime long term for us. Ooh, I like that. Let's pull the other deck. Gonna pull the energies on both sides of the connection. Use your intuition to know which energy is yours. This is from Sagittarius. Energies in the connection. My Sagittarius. Energies in their connection. I like this. Soulmates. Soulmates. Ooh, that bottom one is really, really tingling. Ow, blind faith. Blind faith. Mm, hold on to that one. What's the other side of the energy here? Other side. Mm, Y'all know I want to take it. It's just shining at me. Oh, and somebody's it's in a little bit of denial. So even though we are moving into a a good uh, time in the next 30 days, in our connection, there is a little bit of <laughs> challenge to the connection. This person is in denial about something, refusing to see something. And this person is, how do I put this? It's a blind faith. It's thinking that your way, your belief, your expectations, what you're wanting is the only way. It's where you narrowed your way of perceiving and thinking down to Things have to happen just like this in this narrow little, you know, space. Uh, things need to happen just like this and where we're not being flexible and adaptable and open to new ideas, new traditions, new beliefs, things like that. And But this person is a little bit in denial about something. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Woo, take me a minute, guys. I thought I was going to have to pull some cards on these. Like I said, this person is a little bit narrow-minded. It, it can be anything from actual religion. You know, uh, this person can be, you know, like, a, you know, whatever religion and be like, this is the only true religion there is. This is your only way to get to God. And wants this person to follow <laughs> along with it. But it could be something as simple as this is the recipe that my mother used and my grandmother used to make spaghetti and we're going to make spaghetti that way. And this person is like, okay, even though they don't want to and they don't like your mom and your grandmother's spaghetti, they're going along with it. They're into denial. <laughs> they're just going along with this person. Yeah. 
And that's that's a challenging energy. It's not a big issue kind of thing. It may feel like it sometimes. But after a while, this person just going along, the little tiny things that get are getting on their nerve, the little pestilent things, uh, after a while, if they don't start voicing their discomfort, their beliefs, their desires, if they're just going along with this person after a while, all the, those l little pestilent things that get on their nerves is going to turn into one big giant atomic bomb. And it, so, my Sagittarius, the reading is about heading that off with this person. For this, per this person to find their voice and start voicing, you know, I don't like your mother's and your grandmother's spaghetti. Let's do something different. Let's create our own recipe. Let's mean you create our own traditions here. That kind of thing. If they don't start speaking up after a while, this could be just stupid stuff like... I don't know why why you can't put that toilet seat lid down or why you squeeze the toothbrush uh, toothpaste tube like that. That kind of thing. It just builds up over time if we're not voicing those little bit tiny annoyances uh, with this person. This person needs to take the blindfold off and see and really look and pay attention to this person's energy sometimes of seeing because there, there's visual cues in body language, the unspoken language of saying that this person, you know, you catch them. It's quick. Their eyes will roll. And you, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you can see you're getting on their nerves. <laughs> Take the blindfold off and start paying attention to each other's energy. But this person needs to speak up a little bit. Because mm -hmm. they can't, this person can't read your mind. <laughs> they can't, because they got a blindfold on. <laughs> they can't read your mind or your body language. You got to speak up sometimes. You know, to, you know communication. Daily, everyday communication. The tiny little annoyances. Voice those things. That's how we learn to come into that two cup energy of making compromises, finding middle ground with each other, and doing the little things, the give and the take that keeps a healthy balance in a relationship to know that we're honoring and respecting each other in our individualities. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pull the tarot. Which one do I want to use? Let's use the Paulina deck. Let's lighten it up. <laughs> This is for my Sagittarius and their person. Sagittarius and their person. Give us a little bit more about this. Ooh. See what's going on. What the cards going to bring out for us. It's for my Sagittarius. Hmm. And we got bottom one wanting to come out. We're going to take it. We've got six of wands. Victory, making progress. But it's, a, it's a, the victory card is about making progress in the victory together. Working together to get a victory moving forward. Mm -hmm. What else? We've got a knight of cups. Ooh, stick your heart out there. Mm -hmm. Offer your heart to each other, your compassion, your understanding, your patience, your tolerance, but also your intuition because we are popping on Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups. And Pisces is very intuitive. Any of the water signs are very intuitive to how other people feel. Uh, the only thing about our water energies is sometimes they don't pay attention to their own feelings because they're so in tune to everyone else's feelings, you know, in the empathic energies. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah, we definitely, this person needs to take a blindfold off, but this person also needs to be paying attention to how they're feeling every time they don't speak up on the little things. We're talking about, you know, little things, grasshoppers, the mice, you know, mice poo-poo and everything. Yeah. After a while, you get tired of mice poo-poo because it's everywhere and they breed like crazy. If you don't, if you don't say something, it just keeps going and going and going until you're ready to explode. Or it can actually ruin your connection, relationship over small, stupid things. This is telling us to 
start using our intuition with each other offer each other our hearts come at each other and be active in it because it's a night it's take the actions you need to take to make progress we're moving into a soulmate relationship this should not be hard for this connection my sagittarius and we're moving into higher levels of commitment we've got a history together just don't let the the flame the passion, the connection, the heart connection burn out between you. So, yeah, to take the actions you need to take. Mm -hmm, take any blindfolds off. Pay attention. Ace of Wands, keep the fire burning. Mm -hmm. Keep the passion burning. Because, like I said, uh, this person is passionate about the things they traditions, the, the you know, their beliefs and things. What they're wanting, what they're desiring, they're very passionate about it, and it's coming across to this person because, like I said, they're just shutting down and not saying anything. This person needs to stop for a minute and think and consider and ask, Did you like my mom and grandma's spaghetti? <laughs> and if they say no, be open to it and say, Oh, okay, well, let's create our own recipe, let's do our own stuff. Let's make our own traditions, that kind of thing. Next one, we've got Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Stop allowing outer influences. The outer influences. Over here on this one, stop allowing your mama and grandma's recipe to influence your decisions. The decisions that you're making. Uh, let, think outside the box. Because we are causing a crossroad in the connection a stall in the crossroad with tiny little pestilent annoying things that we're doing and not picking up that we're getting on someone's nerve and someone's not speaking up because they're trying to be respectful and honor you but they're not at the same time they're not honoring their self because it's really getting on the nerves mm -hmm. anything else anything else mm. Ooh. Anything else? Mm, I'm not feeling those. Just not feeling those. Let me tap it. And make sure. Because I really don't feel a need to clarify any of the cards. Although we could clarify and see if there's a double fold message on that Two of Swords. Let's do that. Let's find out what that Two of Swords is. Because it is about making choices. Making the choices in your connection. Not only for yourself, but the joint choices that we're making. This person allows too much of tradition, their old training beliefs uh, to get in the way. When this person may be wanting to do things different, differently. In, in our, you know... Let's build our own traditions. Let's choose what we want together, not just what your family said to do. Not what just what you've been trained to do. What about my family? What about my traditions? How can we combine that kind of thing? Let's see if there's anything else on the Two of Swords. Just the simple fact that making decisions between us, we're not really, it's not going between us where this person is allowing this person to make the decisions and it's, yeah, causing a hindrance. We've got a seven of cups. Mm-hmm. Ten of pentacles, long term. What else there it is? And the full card, the full card. Mmm, yeah, definitely. For the Seven of Cups, that is about having different choices and options available to you. But uh, sometimes the, the shadow side of the card is not being able to make a decision. Oh, that's this person. They're not speaking up and voicing what they want. They're allowing this person. They're just going along with this person. It's getting on their nerves because this person is choosing some things they don't really like. But they're allowing it to happen, like I said. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is going to affect us out in the long term. The tiny little annoyances are really going to affect how we build together long term, our legacy. Um, like I said, I keep hearing, let's do things together. Let's choose 
put the outer influences aside and choose what we want. It's okay to do different things and choose things our way and take that leap of faith. We need actually, and, and like I said, even though we're past lives familiar, we've got a history together. It's like we're, we're at, I, I feel like we're still new in the connection sort of new in the connection because we're not really you know building a history together we're building annoyances together this card is telling you to begin again start again rethink things talk things out and do it differently connect differently connect on a real commitment to each other a real soulmate where you're reading each other's energy where you're considering each other where both of you are making the decisions about your life together and what's going on in your life together, together. Make those decisions together, not just one person. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and with, hold the energy on that one for me in case I need it again. Hmm, let's use the Island Town Wellness. Let's find out any blocks, challenges, challenging energy that comes forward that we might need to know about and it don't even have to be challenging energy if <laughs> it can pop some good stuff for us but we're open to the challenging energy in the next 30 days or my sag or my sag Ooh, the deck got loose <laughs> really loose that means they all if some somebody's ready to talk Ooh, there it is and that one Ooh, okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what else? What else? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to talk about all them. Because <laughs> like I said, the de deck was loose. When that happens, it's like somebody really wants salt. First thing I want to talk about, recklessness. Acting recklessly. Getting lit. Highly volatile relationship personality. Use precaution and protection. Uh, acting recklessly. Yeah, getting lit. Oh, is somebody getting like annoyed and they're like, I don't care. You make this, you make whatever spaghetti you want because I'm hitting the wine. <laughs> so we are talking about, uh, yeah. Highly volatile relationship or personality. Use your intuition because, yeah, I'm, I popped a little bit on that highly volatile personality. Uh, and it, it actually popped me back over here. But, it's, uh, uh, yeah, are we getting into arguments? Are we already at the point that this person is allowed way too much of the little annoyances to build up to where they are all, you know, they're, they're getting to the point they're ready to explode. Mm -hmm. Next one, we got proposal, get proposed to, surprise gift, something that is proposed, things moving to the next level. Oh, we already got that, that engagement. We are definitely moving into, in the next 30 days, a more committed, stable uh, connection, but there's a little bit of explosive energy that needs to be worked out. It needs to be released. Yeah. What else? We've got sleep on it. Think before you speak. Get rest. Don't sabotage. Call it a day. Need a break. Sleep deprived. Ow. Uh, sleep on it. As, mm, yeah. Yeah. These cards are telling me this person has already let the little pestilence, the grasshopper, the, the mice, uh, things like that has actually built up on them that they're ready to explain. And they might need to explain. Or at least a vo voice what's going on on their side. Glam it up. Bring your A-game. Hitting the town. Make an effort. Edgy veneer. Veneer. Y'all, I can't pronounce it. I'm Southern. Mm. The finishing touches and stylish. Ow, oh, glamming it up. Somebody's got a desire to, to, to glam things up for their self. They need to start paying attention to their self. Ow, in this connection. And that, oh, oh, it just popped. Uh, some, somebody might be, uh, we're, like I said, we've got a little bit of a history together. And one person may be looking at the other going, you really don't fix yourself up anymore, do you? You walk around in your pajamas, your sweats. What happened? What happened? The honeymoon over? That kind of thing. 
Ow, okay. Next one, we've got Wicked, Mischievous, Naughty, Harmful, Dangerous, False Betrayal, Lie, Cheat, Beware. Oh, Mischievous is what popped. None of the rest of it popped. Mischievous popped. Somebody's wanting to be mischievous. They think bedroom adventures in the bedroom. Uh, the, yeah, if this is happening out in outside the bedroom, it's also happening in the bedroom. Somebody's not voicing something that they don't really like. That gets on their nerves. And after all, oh, oh. If you, if you think it's going to get volatile outside the bedroom, in the bedroom, you can kill it in a heartbeat with just one or two little pestilence. Uh, you, it will burn completely, turn somebody completely off, and they'll be like, nope, never again. Don't want nothing else to do with you. Don't burn it out. Start talking about what's going on inside the bedroom and outside the bedroom. Forget my meaning. Next one, we've got the unsaid. Showing I love you or like like you without physically saying it. Didn't say it yet, so somebody's got an issue with they don't, they're not hearing I love you enough. They're not hearing it enough. And somebody is just like, you, play, you know, <laughs> there you go, I love you. <laughs> that kind of thing. No, somebody's really needing some affection. And the fact that we got the wicked and I started picking up on the bedroom, there's something going on in that area between us that is turning somebody off badly. That needs to be addressed within the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. In this time frame, address all the issues outside the bedroom and inside the bedroom. Address how this person is, is not speaking up and ask them why they're not speaking up. When I just asked that question, I heard, because they don't hear me. They don't hear anything. I tell them. They don't pay attention. If they're not, if they are hearing me, then they don't give a shit. That kind of thing. So, it's time to really, truly do the soulmate thing. Connect with each other. Spend some time together. Not annoying each other, but get to really get to the authentic of how am I getting on your nerves. Tell me what. What I'm doing is getting on your nerves from both sides and come to that common ground think the two of cups energy you're making compromises and sacrifices in everyday things to keep that balance in the give and take between us so yeah let's go ahead and pull some messages for my Sagittarius which deck do I want to pull from I'm wanting to pull from the butterfly deck let's go with the butterfly deck for some transformation Mm-hmm. It's for my Sagittarius. Please allow the person to come through and speak. Even if the person does not want to speak, please just allow the unspoken messages to be brought forward. And in Sag, what that means, the unspoken messages, is it might be messages from your higher self where you just need to hear yourself, slow down and hear yourself. And what you, you have, you're saying in the unseen level. But we're open to your person coming through. Say whatever they need to say, but also for you to say what you need to say so you can hear yourself. What's Sagittarius? Let's see what's going on. You turn me on in so many ways. You turn me on in so many ways. Find out if that's true. Oh, guys, I didn't mean that. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, find out if it's true. Find out if that's true on both parts. Or if somebody's getting turned off. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's don't be faking stuff in the bedroom, y'all. Don't be faking it. Let's talk it through. Don't, don't hurt each other's feelings and stuff, but talk it through. Get the real stuff. I dream of a future with you. Mm -hmm. Take a chance. Give, ooh, yeah, take a chance. Full card. Full card. Let's begin again. Let's take a chance. It, let's work through things. Let's really do the soulmate. Let's get connected with each other in every way possible. You make me forget everything. 
I wish I could be honest with you. Ow, bam. I wish I could voice myself and be honest with you and not feel like, you know, I'll lose you or you won't love me or <laughs> whatever. Whatever reason, they really wish they, they want to open up and be honest about everything. The good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly. I feel overwhelmed. Somebody's feeling overwhelmed in the connection. Can you sense it, my Sag? I want to trust you. I really need to know that I can trust you. Mm -hmm. In every way possible. Trust you with my true feelings. Trust you with the shadowy part of myself. And that you're going to love me anyway. I'm always talking about you to my friends. Yeah. Somebody might be. It. And just know they might actually. Where they're not talk. We're not. This person is not voicing it to this person. Or either feeling like they're voice. You know. I'm voicing it. But they're not hearing me. They're talking about it to friends. They they need to talk about it. Uh huh. Let you be that soulmate. You be that BBF friend first, where they can talk to you about it. I'm a complete mess. Somebody feeling like a complete mess. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else for my Sagittarius here? Anything else? Ooh, there's one. I'm so in love with you. Don't forget. <laughs> We've got issues. But I'm so in love with you. Still. Yeah. Aww. Okay, my Sag. I like that. Okay, guys. That's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.